More than 100 laid off workers at the Lucky Friday mine should be back on the job by the end of the year. And managers say that they'll begin calling back miners in July as mandatory safety projects are completed. KXY4's Jeff Humphrey was in Wallace today where Hecla investors got an update on the efforts to bring the mine back into operation. Hecla's president and CEO opened up today's shareholder meeting by remembering Larry Merrick and Brandon Gray, two miners killed in the Lucky Friday last year. Phil Baker says the mine has a new commitment to worker safety. Only KXOI4 was invited to tour the Lucky Friday property before today's progress report. This is the Silver Shaft, an industrial strength elevator that lifts men and ore out of the mile deep mine. Over time, the walls of the shaft have been coated with a blend of sand and cement, and safety officials have ordered the rock-hard deposits removed. You're literally taking a geologist hammer and knocking the material off that way, and they're trying to knock it off into small pieces. The pieces are so small, the debris is being taken out of the mine in five-gallon buckets. Crews have cleaned up the shaft down to the 2,500 foot level, another 2,000 feet, and Lucky Friday will be calling people back to work. Somewhere around a dozen people, uh, maybe a bit more than that, will be brought back in July and we'll be doing that uh, you know, every month, every other month. Even more miners will be back on the payroll when the rehab work reaches the 5,900 foot level. This horizontal tunnel is where ore is hauled from the production side of the mine, but because of two recent rock bursts, crews will have to dig a pair of new drifts to bypass that area. We'll drive these two drifts, these two bypasses around where that rock burst was. We just don't want to go back into the area. It'll take a couple of months to drive the, the bypass. It was not all good news for shareholders today, but because the Lucky Friday can produce an ounce of silver for $2.25 and then sell it for $28 an ounce, it should not take very long for investors or the Silver Valley to recover from the mine shutdown. Reporting in Wallace, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.